in this video I want to focus on how we can use quotient rule to differentiate a function that is presented as a quotient. So a quotient is simply a fraction. So if, for instance, in our question A, this one is presented as a fraction, we can see the numerator, we can see the denominator. So if we have a function y presented as a quotient, the numerator we name it u, then the denominator we name it v, then we use what we call quotient rule. So quotient rule states that the derivative of y or differentiation of y is equal to v du minus u dv over v squared. So all that we need to do is to find u prime and v prime when we replace in this particular formula. So we have these questions that we want to differentiate and because they are presented as fractions we are going to use what we call quotient rule. So like in our first question we have to to see how we find the derivative or differentiate this one. So what we do is the numerator should always be named as u then the denominator should always be named as v. So u, u prime means the derivative of the numerator. When we try to differentiate this one, we're going to get negative sine x. Again, I'm going to differentiate this one. v prime will be equal to the power multiplied by the coefficient. So the power here is 4, the coefficient is 1. 4 multiplied by 1, we get 4. Then x, then 4 should reduce by 1, so we're going to have this. So now we have to replace this in the given formula or in the quotient rule. So y prime will be equal to, what is our v? Our v is x to the power 4 from here. Then u prime, u prime is minus sine x. Then we have this minus in the formula, minus what is our u? Our u is cos x, then this is multiplying with a v prime, which is 4x to the power 3. Then this whole thing divided by v squared. Our v is this one, so this will be x to the power 4 squared. So here I can simplify. This will be y prime is equal to, you can see x to the power 4 x to the power 3, so I can factor out x to the power 3. This side, I will remain with minus sine x. Then here, I'm going to have minus cos x. Okay, of course, there will be a 4 because there is 4. Then divide by using the index of an index. If I have to simplify this, I multiply these two numbers. So this will be x to the power, x to the power, this multiplied by this will get x to the power 8. Again, I can simplify this one and this one. Here, I'll simplify and there I'll remain with 5 of them. So from here, I can come up there. So y prime will be equal to. Here I will remain with minus x sine x then minus 4 cos x divided by x to the power 5. So this will be our derivative. Here that will be our derivative. So all you need to do is name this one as u, then this one as v, then you follow the quotient true where u prime will mean the derivative of u and v prime will mean the derivative of v. So now we come to b. In our b, again, you do the same, the same thing. The numerator should automatically be named u, then this one should be named v. So once you do that, you differentiate this one. So u prime, I can use this side, u prime will be equal to, when you are when you are differentiating tan, the easiest way to remember is when you are differentiating tan and sec, you put tan 
x sec x and sec x so if you are differentiating tan you multiply these two you delete tan then you multiply these two so tan the derivative of tan x will be sec x multiplied by sec x which will be sec squared x again if you are differentiating sec you delete this sec so you are going to have sec x tan x so that is how you remember so the derivative of tan x will be equal to you you delete this you multiply the remaining two so this will be sec squared x then you come to the derivative of v which will be v prime will be equal to for this one it doesn't change but you're going to use chain rule you you write this one then you differentiate the power so this will be e x derivative of x is one when we multiply one with this it's going to remain so i'm going to replace in the formula for quotient uh, for derivative of a quotient or quotient rule so i'm going to say y prime is equal to what is my v my v is e x multiplied by the derivative of u which is sec squared x minus u what is u our u is this one tan x then this is multiplying with v prime v prime is e x then all over e x squared which is v uh, squared you can see this appears here it appears also there so i can factor it out prime is equal to e x sec squared x minus tan x then divide by i have two of these so i can say okay two so i can simplify this and that so i'll end up having the derivative of y is equal to sec squared x minus tan x divided by e x so this will be the derivative of this particular function so now for g it will be the same thing you are going to name this one as u then this one you are going to name it v so u prime will be the derivative of this one which will be e t again you come to v prime v prime will be the derivative of this one which will be e t you keep this one on you maintain this one then you differentiate t with respect to t to be one so here we multiply with one then plus you keep this one e minus t then you differentiate minus t which will be minus one now when you look at this v prime will be equal to e t minus e minus t so this is what you are going to repress this is what you are going to repress in your formula here it is what you are going to put whenever there is u prime you put u prime whenever there is v prime you are going to put this and then these are these this one and this one that one it's what you are given here this and that so it is very easy to differentiate a quotient what you just do is you name your your numerator u then the denominator v then you follow this particular rule which we call a quotient rule so for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you